Thanks to Paver Restoration for sponsoring Shore Sports Zone's coverage of St. John Vianney. Thanks to Reach Your Potential Training for sponsoring Shore Sports Zone's coverage of Rumson Fairhaven High School. The conditions absolutely brutal, cold, windy, but St. John Vianney and Rumson Fairhaven didn't care. They played a high level football. First quarter, this is Michael O'Connor on third down. He falls down, but manages to get the pass off to Brian Hess inside the 10 yard line. And RFH is on the move. Matt Vecchiarelli inside the one. And it would lead to this. Michael O'Connor from a yard out. Rumson Fairhaven strikes first. It's six nothing. Fourth down, St. John Vianney is going for it. Anthony Brown gets the first down, gets SJV inside RFH territory, but the drive would stall. Second quarter, RFH driving is fourth down. The Bulldogs go for it, but Michael O'Connor is stopped by Marquis Ellington. And that would set the stage for the biggest play of the game. A reminder, we are playing in brutal, windy, rainy conditions, but it doesn't phase Anthony Brown one bit. This kind of throw in this weather is why Anthony Brown is going to Boston College. He's an elite quarterback, and Marquis Ellington does his part. Whew. That is a 75-yard touchdown, and now St. John Vanny looks to take the lead with an extra point. But it's the fire drill, and Brown's pass is swatted down by Elijah McAllister. At the half, we are tied up at six apiece. Third quarter, RFH in punt formation. It's a bad snap. Tyler Tedeschi is able to knock the ball loose. And now St. John Vianney takes over at the 18-yard line. They take advantage of that short field. Calvin Beatty from two yards out. The Lancers take a 13-6 lead. Another critical play by the St. John Vianney defense. Inside the 10 yard line, Rumson Fairhaven on fourth down. It's Micah Clark with the huge stop. All that was left was for St. John Vianney to run out the clock. They were able to get a couple of key first downs. This is a clutch run by Chris Chukwanuke. RFH needed to go 80 yards late in the game to get the equalizer, but Michael O'Connor loses the handle. Nick Densieski is all over it. He gets his second quarterback sack of the half. Densieski played great as well as the rest of the St. John Vianney defense. And the Lancers hang on for a 13-6 win in the Nor'easter. That 75-yard touchdown pass from Anthony Brown to Marquis Ellington. I can't tell you how impressive it was to see that play in brutal conditions. And is St. John Vianney able to outlast Rumson Fairhaven in the end? After the game, Derek Sadinsky happy that his team is now off to a 4-0 start. We fell down. We went down 6-0. Uh, they ended up getting field position on us. And, uh, you know, our kids never never quit. We knew we were going to score. Uh, we thought we'd score a little bit more than, than this tonight. But, uh, you know, we knew we were going to score with the wind on our back. We were going to throw the football. So uh, we had confidence. And, obviously, Anthony and uh, Marquis really hooked up on that, on that, that long pass play.